Okay, welcome back. There's something a little different here that I wanted to document and show everybody. I've been playing around uh, lately with um, resonance and induction coils. And I went back to a Bedini SSG and I was using this ignition coil along with other coils in the circuit just to see what resonance was like and what would happen. And I discovered if you put the ignition coil in the negative charge line of the charge circuit of an SSG, let's put it in series right here, it runs through that coil, the primary coil, and actually charges this battery better. And the spin-off is you get light out of it, and you also get a, a little diode discharge into another battery here. So I made a setup to show what was going on here. And this is a, st a standard Bedini SSG. This is my lid motor um, SSG that I started with. And um, that's the lid of a honey jar. And that's why I, I call this lid motor was because it was made out of a lid. It's a honey jar lid with neo magnets, and this is my original SSG that I use for all kinds of experiments. But anyway, this is uh, the source battery for it right here. It's a 12 volt, 5 amp per hour. Uh, there is the amp draw currently. It's about 150 milliamps coming off of it, and there's the charge voltage right there. The uh, uh, charging battery. You can see the voltage on this is actually higher. It's 13 and a half volts right now. Uh, identical batteries. These are two identical batteries than the source battery. And these uh, Bedini chargers do work. You have to get them dialed in right, but they do work and they'll actually charge up a charge battery higher than the source, which is very interesting. No multiple batteries. But what I did today was I, I took off the uh, negative part of this and put an ignition coil right in series with it. And it goes through that primary coil of that ignition coil before it hits the charge battery. And the spin-off is, on the secondary winding, you get high voltage and you can run a, a dim CFL, modified CFL, and you can pull off a voltage off of the negative part of the coil and put it in a battery or capacitor. Now this is a, a big capacitor 1300 microfarad, 100 volt, that I have a load. It's a 110 night light. The load's uh, holding this at about a volt and a half. I'm going to take the load off of it and watch the cap climb. And this is energy coming into the cap. And it doesn't affect the uh, charge battery. This is independent of that. And it doesn't affect the draw either on the uh, source battery. But anyway, that's climbing on up. This is something else I wanted to demonstrate. Notice there's the CFL running. Watch the spark on this. See if I can keep from getting hurt here. I don't want to get that too close because I found out this messes up my camera. But that's high voltage, folks. That's, uh, I don't know how many volts, but that's just like a spark plug down there. You see it's making the CFL go on and off. And uh, anyway, this was something I played around with today. You can see the voltage on the caps now up to 26 volts. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this was something a little different. And like I say, this is just a standard Bedini SSG. It's got a charging circuit on it on its own right now. But uh, this was something that I wanted to show. Somebody else wanted to try this. Just take your, your ignition coil CFL and put it in series with the charge battery negative line. And then you can make the light go or you can peel off some more charging on the, on the diode negative of the coil. And uh, that's my little uh, demonstration for tonight. The um, Bedini SSG with a secondary CFL charge circuit.